You've booked your trip to Greece and it's time to plan your itinerary. Maybe you're coming into Athens to explore its vibrant and rich history. Here, you'll enjoy a lot of delicious food in the Greek capital before you head to one of the hundreds of breathtaking islands. Swim in the crystal clear turquoise water and eat more incredible food. But Greek cuisine has a wide array of options. What do you order? Well, stick around and we'll cover everything, the good and the bad. Well, oh, gotta wait for my experience. The next bus that's gonna come is gonna be equally as packed and probably in a half an hour from here. So we're just gonna bite the bullet, get in a taxi for our first part of the journey and the taxi is gonna drop us off to the metro where that will take us into the center. We have just arrived in Sidigma Station, which if you're visiting Athens and you'll be taking public transportation, it is one of the main metro stations, so we are really hungry. Let's go find something to eat. at our first spot and this one is inside the meat market so it might be a little hectic if you come in the morning but right now it's about five in the afternoon so it should be relatively quiet where we're going to be eating in one of the best old school authentic like restaurants everything is very home cooked Did I mention Anthony Bourdain Olivia's personal favorite uh, and Jamie Oliver have eaten at this place so let's go see what it's about So the place we've come to is called Inomagirio Ipiros. So Inomagirio, if I were to directly translate it, wine home cooked. <laughs> so basically you come here for a glass of wine and for a home cooked meal that you'd usually go and have at your grandma's house. So the selection was a lot wider like earlier in the day, but we are here later. Anyway, we're so excited because this place has been around since 1898. So it's a staple and you can tell a lot of locals come here to eat. Αυτό τι κομμάτι είναι. Αυτό είναι κότσι. Αυτό είναι πολύ μουσχαρίσκο. Φούνο κόλαζερ που λένε. Κολαγόλο, βιταμίνη ε πολύ, κάνει καλό στις αρθρώσεις, στο στομάχι, στο δεπιδερμίδα παντού. Ne, 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 all good. So what you just saw, we are not gonna be eating. Olivia and I are not such adventurous eaters with that stuff, but this is a very traditional, old school soup that a lot of Greeks like. More of the older generation will come and eat that, or more like traditional. We ordered the beef soup, which looks delicious, and I'm sure it's very nutritious as well. And we ordered bamias, which is a very traditional Greek dish with okra and tomato sauce and um, sometimes they have potatoes in there. I'm gonna be trying the okra and okra is one of my favorites. When it came to healthy meals growing up here in Greece, this was probably the only healthy meal I was excited about. I know a lot of people have a problem with okra, but I love it. So I do have high expectations. I'm not gonna lie though, the smell from the beef soup is overpowering the okra and I'm drooling over the beef soup right now. Let's see. Very nice, simple flavors, nothing too overpowering. So you have like some extra salt you want to put, you have, um, what is this? This is vinegar. Some garlic infused vinegar over here. I give it a solid eight and a half out of 10. We also have the beef soup here, which is very simple. I have a beef, I see some onion, a lot of carrot, and big pieces of potato. It looks like parsley in there. 
oil. It's kinds of simple home cooked foods if they're done right are some of the like, favorite kinds of food ever. And from the smell, I think it's gonna be really good. We have lemon as well, but I wanna try it first without the lemon. It's very tender. Really good. It's every like the flavors you would expect. A simple broth, really good tender meat. Now we'll try with the lemon too. The lemon, lemon with great food just like sets everything off and finishes it. And I'm excited to try the okra as well. The beef soup is so good that I have to give points to, and I'm gonna go ahead and say 10 out of 10. The meat is just falling apart. It's not gamey at all. I'm very sensitive to gamey meat, and this is nothing like that. The broth, the flavor of the broth is just so amazing. So even just having the broth by itself, it has so much more flavor than the rest. Such a simple, delicious meal, and most importantly, so healthy. Amazing comfort meal, and that has only just opened up our appetite more. So I think it's time to go find a traditional dessert that dates back to ancient times. Let's go see. In this video, we're going to be trying a different place for lucumades. Of course, our personal favorite is lucumades, and. Um, I think I'd recommend it as the first stop, but if you want to try more stuff, this one seems a bit more traditional. Lugumades have been around in the Greek culture for a very, very long time, since ancient times. It's basically fried dough and it's topped with syrup, which the syrup in this place is basically honey with some water. And then they top it off with cinnamon and some walnuts if you'd like. Oh, stripping. All right, let's see. Is anyone from the store watching? No. Okay. I'm like, oh, like. Okay, if you want Lucumades, there's a lot of other places you can go to. This is very stale. It was made probably a long time ago. It's not even warm. The texture is quite horrible, to be honest. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the syrup. It's very, very sweet. And I do think they lied to us that they, they have put sugar in there because watered down honey would not taste this sweet. Uh, like I can tell it still by the sound when you put the fork into it. When we first walked up, I was thinking, wow, like these are definitely not fresh, but given the length of the dough, they're so well reviewed. It tastes like a sad carnival dessert. You know, the oil's bad. Yeah, the oil's bad. It has absorbed so yeah. much oil. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave this right here for someone and go back to my all-time personal favorite, Lucumades. You can get the traditional made there, but Lucumades is really well known about the other awesome flavors they put on top. Their dough is freshly made on the spot, so it's usually scorching hot when you get it served to you. And um, yeah, so ignore what we just showed you. Go to Lucumades. You can also watch us eat from Lucumades in one of our very first videos. So do go easy on us, but we'll link it right here so you can go ahead and watch it after you watch this. Obviously, we're not gonna have enough time to go in all of our favorite places here in Athens today, but if you stick around till the end of the video, we're gonna throw in there some honorable mentions, like a rapid fire suggestions for you, so you can have a few more options while you're here. All delicious, we wouldn't recommend it if we didn't love it ourselves. This was not originally in the plan, but because the lucumades we just had were so disappointing, we had to come to my favorite ice cream place here in the center. It's called Dicky D's, and they have delicious soft serve ice cream. I believe they're gonna start serving their gelato soon. Um, they have great flavors. We got the salted caramel, and I'm a big salted caramel fan, and it never disappoints. They use homemade ingredients here. Really good, really good experience all around. Only one time we had a bad experience, but it was during the winter. 
So because it wasn't so much consuming, the ice cream was a little older. But if you come in the spring and summer, do not fear, come here. You're gonna have amazing soft serve. So salted caramel and cookie dough. Stop in the neighborhood of Kukaki. We're passing through the historic, really pleasant neighborhood of Plaka, which is probably the most quintessential what you think of Greece when you come to Athens. So, highly recommend coming through here. at a very local spot here in Kukaki, which by the way is the neighborhood I grew up up until I was 10. You know you're at a local spot when they don't treat you like when you speak English and they don't treat you like a tourist and they're super happy so the service might be a little but I think the food is gonna be worth it. We ordered some of the basic appetizers that you probably should try while you're in Greece. We have something called which are basically zucchini fritters and pretty much in every tavern you're gonna go here in Greece you're gonna find those. Thank you Marie. <laughs> I have the zucchini fritter and I see a lot of zucchini which is nice. It's really good everything's really homemade and I like how sometimes with the zucchini fritters it's more like dough than zucchini and this is nice with zucchini. Then my personal favorite flogeres which means flutes. It's basically deep fried cheese with ham wrapped in a phyllo dough and it's absolutely delicious. These actually look like they're made here. A lot of taverns actually do them frozen. You can tell from how they're shaped here. They're homemade so I have high hopes for that. I'm gonna try Maria's favorite. I enjoy them too. <laughs> they look really good and homemade. Mm. Then we have Kiftidake. Ooh, I like the sauce in there. Sometimes they come with sauce, sometimes they come without sauce, and they're basically fried, deep fried sometimes, uh, meatballs. They have spices and herbs in there. Very classic Greek appetizer dish. Really good. It's very herby, so I don't know what Maria's gonna think. But it tastes very homemade. Classic, highly recommend the meatballs if you're a meat eater when you're here in Greece. Then we got one spread. We have a few options for spreads in Greece. We didn't order all of them because it's just two of us. We came to Nokafteri, which is basically the spicy and it's Olivia's favorite. Really, this one is white. Sometimes it looks red because it's a red spicy pepper. And you can also put the zucchini frita in there. And of course, we have some classic salad. I don't think we've ever had a restaurant classic Greek salad in a while because it wasn't in season. But if you're here in Greece in the summer, tomatoes, oh, I think they're the best tomatoes in the world. I'm not kidding. You have to go to the right place, but if you try a nice, good, ripe tomato here in Greece, you're never gonna be able to have tomato the same way again. And in a lot of traditional places, like these kind of local areas and restaurants, they'll bring you something at the end of the meal. Sometimes it'll be a dessert, like a little cake. Sometimes it'll be like a shot of liquor, liqueur, spirit. And sometimes in the summer, you'll get some fresh fruit. It's nice. It's a great spirit. It comes from grapes. Very strong. Very like, like clean tasting. Complimentary. So that's a nice little treat at the end of your meal. It was an amazing last spot for our food tour. It was a very good day of food. Yeah, Not one day it was. Great selection. And I highly, highly recommend the neighborhood of Bugaki. If you want a local feel, but a great variety of options to eat and eat, basically, and drink. Mm -hmm.